Welcome to the best of hindsight tonight. I'm Damian Musiani, and here is this week's theme. Enjoy. The Wall Street Journal reported that the hippest young adults are now going to bed every night at 9 p.m. Data collected by Sleep Number Bed show that 18 to 34 year olds are retiring 12 minutes earlier than just last year. And Yelp reports that more people are eating dinner at 6 p.m. or earlier also. And this should give older generations insomnia. A survey by Rent Cafe showed that 20-somethings sleep for an average of nearly nine and a half hours a night. My cat gets less sleep than that. No other age group has a nocturnal need to neurotically not offer 40% of their day. I think this was how the plot for Invasion of the Body Snatchers started, by the way. Who's not laughing? Our nation's youth. The annual World Happiness Report shows that the United States dropped from 15th to 23rd among all countries in overall happiness, and the culprits can be found at the end of the alphabet. Talk about a generation gap. If the U.S. were made up of only people over the age of 60, we would have ranked 10th in the world. But if all Americans were under 30 years old, our rank would drop to 62nd place. For reference, Honduras is 56th. It's like Gen Z is one big Smashing Pumpkins concert audience. And why are Zoomies so gloomy? A USA Today poll says they blame the economy, housing costs, loan debt, politics, social media, climate change, and the Gaza war. Because older people don't have any of those issues, right? But they do have higher health issues, retirement stress, failed hopes and dreams, crushed legacies, disengaged by society, dragged into the woods on sleds and left for wolves. Yeah, Gen Z, tell us again how blue you are. If nothing else, you've shown us all how the person you present to others is so much more important than the person you really are. Pending an upcoming vote in the Senate, TikTok might be banned if not divested of Chinese ownership, and that prospect has its own ominous signs. Intelligent.com surveyed about a thousand Gen Z college students about a potential TikTok ban, and their responses are disturbing on a whole new level. First is that about half of all students use TikTok every single day, and a third of regular users spend over three waking hours a day scrolling the app. Twelve percent are using it over six hours a day. Forget trivialities like classes, homework, sleep, Gen Z has it all figured out. Nearly half of all regular users say their mental health will suffer if TikTok is banned. It's an app, not Thorazine or Prozac, unless by poor mental health you mean crying and stammering and stamping your feet. There are so many American-made copycat TikTok apps and one of them will take over, don't worry. There's even websites to help you create your own clone TikTok app for crying out loud. I guess the parents of Gen Zers never watched this PSA growing up. It's yours? No, I'm... Your mother said she found it in your closet. Who taught you how to do this stuff? You, all right? I learned it by watching you. Not at all like Alex Choi, a YouTube influencer known for being stupid rich and also stupid in general, who now must face federal charges for a stupid stunt he pulled last year. Choi, who is from Generation Z, <laughs> in case you haven't put that together on your own already, tried to entertain his million social media followers by having two women shoot illegal fireworks at a speeding Lamborghini from a helicopter in the desert, as one does. He was arrested last week and faces up to 10 years in prison if found guilty. Look for Choi's promotion for his upcoming video game, Grand Theft Brain Cells. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week with more of the best of Hindsight Tonight.